Hey guys, how are you? Uh, really quick, I'm just gonna read an article for you. It's about the uh, pharmaceutical industry. Joseph, I know you're very interested in this article, so uh, step number one, let's just read it. We'll get from the beginning of the article to the end. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> the Big Pharma Takeover of Medical Cannabis submitted by visual capitalists i love these articles by visual capitalists the big pharma takeover of medical cannabis medical cannabis is on the verge of radical transformation as evidence of its many benefits mount so too does the interest of the global pharmaceutical industry known as big pharma the big pharmaceuticals have, have stayed away because of regulatory concerns but now the sleeping giant takeover is intensifying as more patents partnerships and sponsored clinical trials come to fruition let's take a look here this is what i'm interested in who is big pharma big pharma refers to some of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world who are considered especially influential as a group top 10 pharma companies by market capitalist Johnson and Johnson 374 billion Pfizer 241 billion Gaxo Smith Smith Klein 100 billion Merck 216 billion AstraZeneca 103 billion Novartis 208 billion Novo Nord Nordisk, 123 billion. Lilly, 108 billion. Sanofi, 107 billion. Avi, 105 billion. For a total market capitalization of 1.7 trillion. This total is more than the nominal gross domestic product of South Korea. Public, public trust in Big Pharma has seen a decline stemming from price inflation inflation concerns and a lack of transparency ar around research the industry's reputation has taken a hit in recent years yet many predict that the road to redemption could be paved with cannabis leaves could cannabis be sold over the counter is the question cannabis has been has been used in medicine for six thousand years However, there is still considerable de debate around the role it plays in healthcare today. Cannabis family, there are two major cannabinoids found in the cannabis plant. CBD is considered the healing component of cannabis. THC is the principal psychoactive ingredient. And recent studies suggest that it may be useful in combating a variety of health conditions, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, schizophrenia, migraines, arthritis, cancer side effects. So these are the recent studies that suggest that it may be use, useful combating this variety of health conditions. So marijuana psychoactive high, THC 5 to 35 percent, but it has lower percentages of CBD. Let's take a look at the hemp, which is a cousin of the marijuana species and we can see that it's non-psychoactive THC 0.3% and higher percentage of CBD oil there are currently almost 400 active and completed clinical trials surrounding CBD worldwide in the US which in the US which companies are the most invested in cannabis research number of cannabinoid clinical trials registered with Federal Drug Administration by company as of June on 2000, of 2018. GW Pharmaceuticals Limited, 40. Sanofi, 38. GW Research Limited, 8. Solve Pharmaceuticals, 7. Insys Therapeutics, 5. E Therapeutics PLC, 4. Pfizer, 4. Tetra Biopharma, 3. AstraZeneca, 2. Phytotech Therapeutics LTD, 2. Portola Pharmaceuticals 1, Par Pharmaceuticals 1, Intron Biotechnology Incorporated 1, 
Teal Pharmaceuticals 1, GlaxoSmithKline 1, and Cannabis Pharmaceuticals 1. In 2019, 33 states in the District of Columbia have legalized marijuana for medical use. Its potential for pain management has led some experts to recommend it as an alternative to addictive painkillers. In a survey of more than 1,300 U.S. cannabis consumers, about 80% had used marijuana as a substitute for pharmaceuticals, primarily opioids. In the six years after medical marijuana legalization in 13 states, opiate-related deaths decreased by over 33%. Big Pharma's foray into cannabis. Further legalization of medical cannabis will challenge Big Pharma's bottom line. Medical cannabis could poach more than $4 billion for pharma sales annually. Projected medical cannabis sales for 2019 alone will reach $5.9 billion from an estimated 24 million patients. If medical marijuana were to be made legal na uh, na nationally, taxpayers could save $1.1 billion on medical prescriptions each year. Prescription medication spending by condition in US dollars billions. What are the conditions? Chronic pain, post-traumatic stress syndrome, sleep disorders, anxiety, epilepsy, nerve pain, cancer side effects, red syndrome, and glaucoma. Total sales from cannabis replacement. Average prescriptions for qualifying conditions saw a decline of 11% in favor, in favor of medical cannabis replacement. Big Pharma will inevitably enter the space themselves given the threat medical cannabis poses to their market share. The companies entered a partnership to develop and distribute medical cannabis in legal jurisdictions around the world. That's Novartis and Tilbury, MedMen and PharmaCan. MedMen acquired the medical cannabis retailer PharmaCan in a 682 million stock transaction. Aurora and Farmacias Magistrales. Aurora Cannabis acquired Mexico City-based pharmaceutical supplier Farmacias giving Aurora access to supply THC containing medical cannabis to more than 130 million people. Bayer and Monsanto, a merger estimated to be worth nearly 66 billion that could result in huge investments in research as well as the development of chemicals for global harvesting. GW Pharmaceuticals, the company created Epidiolux the first FDA-approved cannabinoid available for prescription in the U.S. Top 10 companies with cannabis patents in North America. Seven of Canada's top 10 cannabis patent holders are major multinational pharmaceutical companies, with the U.S. seeing a similar trend. The growing belief in cannabis as a viable medical treatment will mark one of the next major milestones in the industry. Presented by CB2 Insights, CB2 Insights has a mission to mainstream medical cannabis into traditional healthcare by visual capitalists. So thank you very much guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's article. Ho hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon.